Uh, uh, a law to back a uh, state battle to collect value added tax uh, VAT, uh, their right to mine and control the resources is underway in the House of Representatives. A bill to that effect, titled an Act to Order 39, Part 1 of the Second Schedule of the 1999 Constitution, as amended to substitute and move the item from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list, sponsored by Rep. Hassan Usman, uh, Suku Dabu, and John. Uh, the instrument uh, proposes in part that the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 is hereby altered as set out. Item 39, Part 1 of the Second Schedule of the Principal Act altered by substituting the item and moving it from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent list. Now, this VAT thing has uh, been in the news uh, for weeks now with uh, uh, states and federal governments uh, uh, battling you know, to interpret the constitution as it were as to who collect that. But my question now is why now? Because this has been the practice for as long as anyone can remember. So why all of a sudden states, of course, started from River State and uh, uh, Lagos State joined in the battle. Why now? W what has changed? Well, uh, the point is, wrong thing can never exist forever. There will be a point whereby whatever wrong that has been done, we have to be corrected. And I think that is what exactly is happening now. Now, on the issue of VAT, we must be very, very guided and very, very careful on the comment we will make, mm -hmm. because it's presently sub -judice. But I want to say with profound respect that I do not think the state, particularly River State government and uh, Lagos State government, I do not think they are interpreting the constitution. What the River State government did is to go to court and the court said you have the right to do it. So it's only following the judgment of the court. Now, instead of the federal government to do the necessary thing, appeal, you don't just, but the federal government want to do it by power. Mm. We have the power to command you to go and pay to us at all costs. No! That is not democracy. That is not constitutionalism. Submit yourself to the court. Go to the court. Go and challenge the judgment of Federal High Court in River State. If at the end of the day you win, so be it. Mm -hmm. If at the end of the way the state, the state wins, so be it. But let the decision be submitted to court. I, in fact, I, I found it laughable the other time the Federal Inland Revenue wrote to the court and said, still stay the uh, execution of this judgment. The execution is, a, is execution, execution of judgment stay by letter? <laughs> no, honestly, very annoying. And it's, it's, it's they one, behave one as if they behave as if they don't have a, a, a functional legal department, which I know they did. So, and what is the behind this? Is just because power is might. We are federal. There is nothing we cannot do. We are top of the station. Now, back to your question that it has been like this all over the years. Why is it was? Yes, you see, the point is, when you deprive someone of what he, 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 he rightly belongs to him for a very long time, there's bound to be a revolt as we are having a, like this. If the federal government has been very sincere, if the federal government has been very equitable, if the federal government has been very concerned and doing the right thing, mm. nobody will probably think of wanting to go to court and change the status quo. But look at what River State government said. I award the contract of almost 31 billion naira, and the fact is going to go to somewhere else. Mm. River State said it generated about 15 billion naira, it was given two point something. Kanu generated the same uh, two point something, and it was given the same two point something. You, you feel cheated. Why won't you revolt? Why won't you cry? More so when people have been agitating, let us have, let us have true federalism. And you will keep on denying them, you keep on. Uh, blackmailing, you keep on uh, using all sorts of power to deny this. And when this is happening, definitely people will think outside the box. And mm. I can assure you, more we call. Mm. Because people are putting on their thinking cap and they are on their toes now mm. to make sure that all these anomalies is corrected. So you think this is thinking outside the box, especially with, uh, uh, for, for years now, people have been clamoring for true federalism and restructuring. So now, if the uh, 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 the House of Reps now, you know, 
as it were, backs uh, or if you uh, finally signs this bill, uh, uh, not VAT alone, but for each state to control their resources. You think that will be a, a, a good step in the right direction and a huge start for uh, true federalism and restructuring uh, the country? It, it will be a very right step forward mm -hmm. uh, if this bill were passed, you know, to become an act, you know, into law, because um, it is one of the major issues, you know, uh, on the front burner. And, and that has caused a lot of agitation. It's part of the reasons for restructuring. It's part of reasons for resource control. Mm. You know, uh, in other climes, U.S., Britain, and elsewhere, you have states that are said to be richer than, you know, yes. California is richer than what tourism and all of that. Uh, Each Texas states have that peculiarity. Rich, yes, because of all and all of that. Yes. You know why? That is because you have fiscal federalism going on there. Mm. And, and what is that? Because it beca we have said this so many times. Maybe we believe they've heard us, uh, that somebody has said, let's come up with this bill and if it passes through. That what are we talking about? For instance, you know, there is no part of this nation where God is not blessed. Yes. If there's oil in the Niger Delta, there's gold in Zamfara. Mm. And there are all resources that should be exploited for the common good. And a huge you know, part of uh, 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 farming, and it's in the it's north. In the north. Yeah. It's even, it so will encourage all the states to explore mm. what they have to the maximum so, they, so that they will benefit. For instance, the other time we were being told that a car will be sold for two million. Now. Let it be sold for five million. Mm -hmm. If that is yes. If so the, 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 the beauty of all of this, the point I'm making is that you know, at the end of the day, Fiscal federalism is is would give would go a long way. Exactly. You know the, the kind of dissent and disenchantment, and um, you have people coming up to seek self determination. You know self governance here and there. You know because of this and several other factors. So if we're going to start with this, like I say, it's one very good step forward. Okay. You know so that. Um, would have taken away one of the issues causing the agitation but at the end of the day it's very important that we practice you know fiscal federalism mm -hmm. you know it, we, we've had a system we evolved from somewhere what we keep saying they will not allow them who are really these they that are not allowing these things to be are we not learning from history you cannot keep people perpetually oppressed no. there will come a day when somebody would say if you're pursued and you face the world, the natural thing is you turn back mm -hmm. and face your, your pursuer. You know, because self-preservation would, would kick in instantly. And that is the only time that even your pursuer would know your potential, mm -hmm. what you can or cannot do. Okay, because so of time now. we don't need to go that far. We don't okay. need to get there. Uh, uh, let's uh, uh, join uh, Barrister Organa uh, uh, Silver. Uh, now, I'm sure this topic is of particular interest uh, to you, especially with the fact that you're from a uh, uh, Delta state uh, where uh, the heart of the whole Niger, Niger Delta struggle and oil. But it is good news that the reps are back in this, but we know it is just part of the good news. Uh, the Senate still have to, uh, you also need a backing from your Senate, and it's a whole lot of process, and the President will have to assent to this bill. What's your take on it quickly as we round up? Yes, my, my take is, is, is the position of the certain governors and that the states should collect VAT. VAT is a consumable, is, 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 a, is revenue from consumption. For example, uh, Governor Wicke gave a very clear picture of the reason why states should collect. And alcohol, for example, is being consumed in a certain part of this country. The North don't consume alcohol. They said alcohol is against Sharia law. But when we collect VAT on alcohol in the central part of this country and the western part of this country, then they share out of that VAT. I don't think they have a moral justification to touch a proceed 
of VAT that is linked to alcohol uh, if we have to take the Sharia law issue seriously. So, and for example, again, like in Delta, for example, properties are appreciated in Delta because of the good governance that the governor has offered. And most of the roads in uh, Asaba, in our cities and towns, have been tired. And that has shot up the value of properties. And so if you sell your property uh, and then the VAT comes, and you don't take the VAT to somebody in Sokoto and Zari, and, and Zaria to go and share, it's an injustice. Because the investment that has produced that VAT was done by the state government, not the federal government. So in a nutshell, uh, the amendment of the constitution to remove the VAT from the exclusive list to what commending. And I must commend the House of Representatives for their dynamic approach in handling national issues. They, they are very impressive. The way they have gone about national issue of recent is quite unique. And I think the, the Senate should copy from what the national, uh, from what the House of Representatives is doing. Okay, uh, unfortunately, uh, Barrister Genesiva, this is where we'll say uh, thank you so much for being part of the program. Uh, as we round up, thank you so much for your time. That uh, Barrister Fred Genesiva talking to us from Egbeda, uh, Limosha local government area of uh, Lagos. And thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. Uh, Barrister Yinka Farumbi thank and Barrister much. Destiny Takan. Hope to see more of you on this program. Once we're invited. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, next week's on the East, another day on Galaxy Television. At the same time, 1 to 2. I'm Solomon Often. Keep it with us again. Good afternoon.